Hello YouTube fans, it's your boy Brad here with another video. Today we're going to be looking at the Bayringer X-Touch Mini. In my previous video, I talked about using a vertical mouse for your editing. As I mentioned, I use Lightroom to do all of my editing on my images and that this is something you really should look into if you're a creator or otherwise, you know, just to relieve stress on your wrists and your arms because it's a very comfortable thing to purchase. If you want to take a look at that video, it is in the link. But today, I'm going to show you my real lifesaver when editing images in Lightroom. And I use this thing religiously. This thing has saved me from carpal tunnel. Uh, I don't have that. Uh, arm stress and all these things. I ran across this when I first uh, got involved with using Lightroom and really getting serious about photography and noticing all of the editing that I really needed to do. You notice that you're going to be making a lot of adjustments and moving those sliders back and forth by clicking a mouse and sliding them and trying to get precise can be can wear you out honestly it can really wear you out so I ran across a video and I'll try to find it and put it in the link it's a pretty old video of a guy showing how to program and set up a MIDI board and these are called MIDI board again this is the X X X touch mini this thing is awesome you can program all of the buttons and the knobs to do whatever you would like them to do in Lightroom. It is a process to set it up, but once you get it set up, you are good to go. All of the knobs here, you got exposure, and you sit. I set these up the way that I wanted them laid out. So I sometimes I don't even have to look down as I'm looking at the image in Lightroom because I know exactly where the different settings that I want to move around or make an adjustment to or on my MIDI board. You have two layers here that you can set up A and B which means that these buttons here can have one function in the A and A will be lit up. These buttons do light up and these knobs have little uh, lights around the circumference of the knob here. But if you're in A and I want to, this is noise reduction. I can hit noise reduction. But this is the only one I have set up actually on a B. Um, I can switch to B and this is when I do my culling of the pictures and I go through and I do five stars. So if I go B, when I hit this button, it turns into a five star as I go through and code my pictures. A is noise reduction 15%. If I hit this one, it switches to noise reduction 25%. Here, noise reduction is just on. I forget what that setting is actually, but it will show on your when you're in Lightroom. And then here I can turn noise reduction off. So these are some of the things I use regularly. I printed these out in Excel. I made a little Excel product and kind of got it all set up the way I want it. And so I had to print it out and then cut it out. And you see I have tape on here to tape it on here. Uh, but say like this top row here, one of these knobs, let's look at highlights here. I'm gonna go ahead and, and show you this. Um, if it's an A over here, layer A, and I turn the knob, it's adjusting highlights. But if it's in B, it's con adjusting the tint which is on the bottom here. I have, you know, temperature, tint. So if I'm in B, I can adjust the temperature of the image, the tint of the image, contrast, and some of these other things here I have here. But let's go to the desktop and let me kind of show you a couple things there. Okay, guys, I'm all set up here. I got to have an image on the screen. This is actually my dad. Uh, he's always working on something. I'm going to use that image. Here's the X-Touch Mini and you see it's just kind of lit up. It has layer A and B. When I go to B, only so many things, but I'm going to go back to layer A here and it plugs up through a USB here, uh, a micro 
a mem, mini USB on this end, and then a regular USB that plugs it into your computer or whatever. But there it is there. So we're going to go to the image. So I'm going to do some simple things here. And you kind of notice here, I'm going to show, I start with the exposure. Here's the exposure on our screen up here. And my first knob here is exposure. If I turn it to my left, and you'll kind of notice that it's moving and darkening the picture. If I go to my right, it brightens up the picture. Um, here we go. I'm going to go to my right and go all the way. Picture's totally blown out. All the way to your right. And if I press it, it resets. So that saves a lot of trying to move these sliders around with your mouse by using an X, X Touch Mini. So if I just if I go through maybe an editing process, guys, I'm trying to hold this steady. I'm sorry. And I add some exposure. I want you to try to see both of these at the same time. I pull down the highlights. And if you see the highlight slider, um, I'm going to go over to Dehaze here on the right. Dehaze all the way down there to the bottom. Knock some of that out. Now, I'm not trying to really do a professional edit. That's way too much Dehaze. But I just want to show you that. If I go to layer B here, you see all of that clear. In layer A, if I go back, you see the sliders that we moved. You can tell because it's got lights on it and it's double lighting in the directions that it was turned. Go back to layer B. I'm going to hit layer B. And we have temperature. So I'm going to adjust the temperature here. And if you notice, the temperature slide is moving. So really warm, overly cool. Press the button that resets it. So, I kind of like the way that is. Let's see what else we may uh, use. And even you can set some of these buttons. I know there's a way to set a straighten when you're trying to straighten your image. But I can only make mine because I couldn't figure out how to do it. This button says straighten. If I hit that, it brings up that. And then I have to manually go over here and adjust the picture. But I can easily get to that. And so I can grab my mouse and then just slide over instead of a double step. I usually have the MIDI board sitting in my lap, guys. Um, and I have my mouse over to my right. I'm going to show you something real quick on the mouse thing here at the end but of this video. Again, I can hit that button, the straighten button, turn that back off. But this is what I have set up on my board, guys, from the picture when we had it out there when I was showing you the board. This is the layout. You can set what you want. You can set the knobs to any knob to what you want it to be. The last quick thing I want to show you guys, this little paddle thing here that's on my chair with the arm on it that has the vertical mouse on it. This has been the other lifesaver. It, had, it came with this pad that sits right there. I took that pad off when I first got this because that was not working for me. It, I just want to move my whole arm, not my wrist. That can work if you just really want to use your wrist. But I took the pad off and put a little piece of cardboard on there because it, it has a, a, some sticky material there. But again, I've been using this 10 years. Uh, something like that. And this allows me to have my mouse right there beside me. It's easier because I got the slide out here. I got the computer up there and I can kind of kick back with the MIDI board in my lap because I don't really need the keyboard and just have the MIDI board in my lap and have the vertical mouse over to my right and I can just cruise through images, guys. So I just want to show you that. And that's a wrap, guys. As always, if you like what you see on this channel, please hit that like. Hit that subscribe button. And you guys have a blessed day.